everybody. I'm so excited to be back with you for math. We're, uh, we're working on chapter six, topic six, uh, lesson one, and we're going to be doing subtracting. Uh, we're going to start by subtracting with models. Models are things that we can see with our eyeballs, so our, our manipulatives, pictures on our paper, that kind of thing. So subtraction is a little bit different than addition. In addition, we model both of our numbers. Subtraction, we are only going to we're only going to model the menu end, which is the number that we're starting with. Because if you think about this, we're going to work on 23 minus 6. If I have 23 of something and I take 6 away, the reason we don't model that 6 is because that's something I have that we're getting rid of. If we model it, then it looks like we're getting 6 more. So we're going to use 10s and 1s, which is place value, to find 23 minus 6. So here's 23, 2 10s, 3 1s. I know that we could count backwards six, maybe using a number line or a hundreds chart, but we're going to work on using tens and ones. This is going to help us when we have great big numbers that we can't use a hundreds chart or we can't use, um, we can't count backwards on a number line easily. So 23, two tens, three ones. We need to take away six. Six is six ones, but we don't have six ones here. To get six ones, we have to regroup a ten. And we're going to change that 10 into 10 ones. There's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Just like when we were adding and we could make a 10 out of 10 ones, we're going to do the back, do the reverse of that and decompose it into 10 ones. So now we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We still have 23. Now can we take six away? Absolutely. There's five and here is six. Okay, and so what's left is we have one ten and seven ones. I'm going to show you how we can draw that on our paper. I'm going to model 23, two tens, three ones. This 10, we had to regroup it. So do you remember when we were making groups of 10? We put a capital R over our group. We're going to put a capital R over this one. And we're going to draw an arrow to show that we're moving it. Sorry, I think I have a lump under my paper. To show that we moved it to the one space. Now we can subtract our six. Doesn't matter which ones we start with. And we can see we have 10 and then seven ones. So 23 minus six equals 17. All right. So here's our friend walking us through what we just did with 34 minus six. In the first example here, I'm going to skip to the convince me. Why did they take away the four ones first? So we've got 34 minus 6. So they modeled only 34. And they took away four ones here and then realized, uh-oh, I need some more. And took away these two ones. This shows kind of what we did on the front where we knew that we were going to need more. and We went ahead and regrouped first. It does not matter at all. So if you pause the video and answer this and explain what happened, then hit play and we'll continue with these three right here. All right, the guided practice says subtract using place value blocks and draw the blocks to show your work. Remember, we're gonna draw them in the shape of a 10 frame uh, and it could be a horizontal 10 frame like this. Or it can be vertical like the book does. It just needs to be in that shape. Your dots, you don't have to draw the, the actual 10 frame. All right, 63 minus 2. We have six tens, three ones. We're going to cross out two ones. In our answer, we still have six tens, which is 60, and one left in the ones place. So the answer is 61 and we call the answer to a subtraction problem the difference. 
All right, for 44 minus 9, they've modeled for us 44, and they modeled, oh, sorry, 40, yes, 44. They had to come get another 10, which has been regrouped into 10 ones, and then you can see we have dots where we need to mark out nine ones. What's left? 10, 20, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Sorry, I could tell there's a lag between my voice and my pencil. All right, 32 minus 8. We have to model this one ourselves, so we're going to model three tens and two ones. Should have closed that door. I need to subtract 8, but I don't have 8 ones, so I'm going to do, um, I like this way where we go ahead and regroup first, but that is completely up to you. I'm going to regroup this and move it over to the tens place, and I'm doing mine up and down just because that's kind of how the boxes are shaped. Okay, now can I subtract eight? Sure, I've got plenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What do we have left? 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we've got the difference is 24. All right, let's look at your part. You're going to do the same thing for number 4 through number 11. You're going to model the menu end, that first number, and you're going to take away whatever the second number is. That's called the subtrahend, if you want a, a good word to know. <coughs> number 12 says, which one-digit numbers can you subtract from 74 without first regrouping? Explain how you know. So if we have 74, what can we take away in the ones place without having to regroup? Explain your thinking. Okay. If you'd like to pause while you finish 1 through 12 and then come back and I'll read the rest of it to you, you can do that or we can just breeze through it all. Number 13, how can place value blocks help you find 66 minus 8? Explain. The directions just say to solve each problem. Okay. Number 14, Kate has 45 marbles. She gives three marbles to her brother. How many marbles does Kate have now? So think to yourself, are we putting things together? Are we taking apart? Are we comparing? And that should help you figure out what, if we need to add or subtract. Number 15, Sammy has nine fewer rings than Emilio. Sammy has seven more rings than Sarah. Emilio has 34 rings. Complete the sentences below and draw a picture to explain your work. So Sammy has blank rings, Sarah has blank rings. I'm going to just add to what we know, Emilio. Okay, we know this. That's going to help us with the rest of it. Sammy has nine fewer rings than Emilio. If, if this word bothers you, the opposite of fewer is more. You can switch that around to say the opposite of what it what it says on your paper. I'm not going to write it on here because I don't want to confuse you, but Emilio has nine more rings than Sammy. That's helped some, some of you guys in the past. So if Sammy has nine fewer rings than Emilio, that means Emilio has nine more rings than Sammy. Okay? This is going to be tricky, but you can do this. It's kind of, it, this is just like a puzzle. It sounds fun. And number 16, draw the place value blocks to find 34 minus 8 and figure out which one is the difference. So she says remember to regroup if you need to. All right, guys, we're starting a really exciting subtraction journey. I'm really happy to be on it with you. Um, good luck, and we'll see you next time. Bye.